Hi everyone, I'm Chris Curetis and welcome to Grunge Gourmet. On this show, I'm going to teach you how to make amazing food with ingredients from the most unlikely places, such as a drugstore. Yes, a drugstore. But don't worry, a little creativity, solid technique, I'm going to teach you how to make amazing food that a five-star restaurant would be proud to serve. Today, we're making spaghetti carbonara. A delicious, authentic pasta dish all the way from Rome, a little town in Rome called 7-Eleven. It's not from there, but it is from Rome. We are going to go shopping at the 7-Eleven and get four ingredients, Parmesan cheese, bacon, eggs, and of course spaghetti. So let's get in here and start shopping. Every 7-Eleven should have like a grocery section. That's what we're looking for right now. We've got Barilla, Kraft. Parmesan cheese, eggs. 7-Eleven has their own eggs. 7-Eleven makes their own bacon. This bacon I've cooked with before, it's real smoky. It's got a lot of fat, it's gonna help us with our sauce. When making this dish, because of the creamy bacon and cheese sauce, we want something that's gonna cut through that. And to keep it in the Italian spirit, we've got a Pinot Grigio. This Pinot Grigio is made by Dark Horse. I think we're all set, let's go check out. my neighbor hello welcome welcome to my neighborhood so a couple of these first we get some water boiling with pasta water usually want to have it taste like the ocean or kind of like a brothy flavor a little salt but because we got so much salt in the bacon and parmesan cheese that it's going to go into this pasta we're not going to salt the water too much so we're just going to lightly salt it that's probably about it i don't know about a teaspoon and i'm going to give this a little breather people don't freak out if there's a twist off cap that's actually a pretty cool thing. It's just not as sexy, I understand. We're kind of letting it breathe, so when we actually do pair it up with our, uh, our pasta, we'll have time to open up. Oh yes, citrusy, green apple, cantaloupe. I'm kind of bullshitting. Mm. Not bad, very good actually. Okay, next. We're gonna slice some bacon up. So again, I was telling you earlier, the fat that's in here is gonna really help with our flavoring. We got four slices of bacon. We're gonna cut this up into like little cubes. So when we're cooking up our bacon, we're rendering the fat off the bacon and we're gonna do it slowly. So we turn our uh, burner on, we turn it to low heat. Cook it, crisp it, render the fat. Put a little bit of oil, we don't need much because this bacon is pretty fatty. While that's happening, we're going to get our egg mixture together. We're gonna crack a couple eggs. Tortilla, and then a fork to whisk. Oh my God, I forgot one thing, very important. Check the wine. Okay, it's opening up. We got a multitask here. Eggs, wine, eggs, bacon. Okay, Parmesan cheese. And I put about a third a cup in there. We want it cheesy, but still a little runny. And now we got some pepper. This is some fresh ground pepper. It's got a little bit more of a bite to it, more of a punch. That's pretty much it for our egg mixture. Okay, our water has come to a rolling boil. So now we're gonna take our barilla spaghetti. Twist. Woo, it worked. Move your pasta, move your spaghetti around the bowl so it doesn't stick. Okay, we're gonna leave that alone for a second. Our bacon is getting there. The fat has been rendered. You can see all that delicious fat at the bottom of the pan. So we're turning the heat off and we're gonna let that rest because the pasta is coming into this pan. That's where the action ends. We're gonna wrap it up right in this pan. So we're checking on the pasta right now. We're gonna cook this pasta till al dente. Al dente is basically not too hard and not overcooked, not mushy. That's where you want your pasta. Take a little bit of the pasta water and now the moment of truth. Pasta goes into the pan. We're gonna mix pretty fast. We wanna keep mixing because if we let it sit too long, the egg will become scrambled eggs and that is what we don't want. And now we're gonna hit it with some more pepper. And there we go. It's looking pretty good. Get a ball. Finish it off a little bit more pepper. Okay, spaghetti carbonara from 7-Eleven. Okay, here we go. Mmm, pepper's great. Simple, few ingredients, 
and they all come together. You got that smoky bacon, that creamy egg sauce, Parmesan, pepper, all together. I mean, think of it, it's like bacon and eggs, right? Two things made in heaven, and it's in a pasta. And that's what you're having here. Okay, everybody, we did it. Love to hear your feedback. Please leave a comment. If you do decide to make this dish, hashtag Grunge Gourmet, and uh, let me know where you think I should go next. Till then, we'll see you soon. Mmm.